This is my daughter, Feather. Because of my influence and guidance, she was inspired to become a lawyer. This is my father, Harry. I hired him as an investigator for my law firm to keep him out of trouble. on Monday. I'll come back on Monday. Uh, no, 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 no. We've got a ton of work to do. You mean I can stay? Yes. She's going to let me stay. The Air Force is lost, sir. Straight from an Air Force career, man. Oh. Uh, my partner, Feather Danton, Sergeant Rollins, General Northrop's personal driver. Nice to meet I you. Never good enough to give me a lift from the field. Good. Uh, we'd like to keep our reservists happy, sir. Mm -hmm. Tell me something, Sergeant. What sort of an officer is Captain Huffaker? I'm sure I speak for our entire group when I say... We're happy the captain is once again a civilian. Straight from an Air Force career man. This is a private line. You can say whatever you have to right now. I, I got money troubles, uh, Northrop, and I figured that you owe me a, a little help. Mr. Van Owen, any association between us is past. I must ask you not to call again. Don't play formal with me, General. This is your old partner, remember? Well, some people might start calling us partners in crime tomorrow. If, if, if we don't reach an agreement tonight. Very well. <clears throat> Be at the corner of Doheny and Rangeley at 8 sharp. My driver will pick you up. partner's gin game tonight. Right. Well, I think you boys owe me a chance to get even. <laughs> General, you couldn't keep him away. I'm that easy a mark, am I? All right. My place, around eight. I don't know of any regulation that prevents a two-star general from having a drink with his three-stripe sergeant to you, especially if the general invites him. Is that an order, sir? Skull! <laughs> oh, sergeant, when are you going to be taking your uh, academy entrance exam? Uh, next month. Mm. You'll do fine, son. Just fine. Help yourself to another drink. I'm going to catch a shower. If anybody shows up, just give them a new one. Yes, sir.
Colonel? Hello, Sergeant. Eric? Frank! Oh, Eric, I'm glad you could come by. So you want to try to win some of your own money back? Yes, and speaking of that, how about a little one-on-one -on -one till the rest of them get here? You got a deal. I'm feeling lucky tonight. All right, Sergeant, that'll be all. Pick me up at the usual time tomorrow, hmm? Yes, sir. Cut for deal. <laughs> the car. They didn't see me. Fabric, remnants, blood. All taken from the smash fender of the car, all positively identified as that of the victim. Miss Stanton, I did not hit that man. The fourth estate says different. You made page one. Rollins had the car. The car killed Van Owen. Ipso facto, Rollins killed Van Owen. Whose side are you on? Their syllogism, not mine. Oh, they were kind enough to say you weren't too drunk. I had one drink. Yeah, the police alcohol report confirms that. One drink with the general. Then I went straight to the library. I, I, I took out some books. I know him. What? From somewhere. You know him? Oh, dandy. Another proverbial nail in your proverbial coffin. Now, wait a minute. Where do you know him from, Richard? I don't know. Well, what's our next move? We'll have to interview all the eyewitnesses. I'll see if I can't get the date of the arraignment changed. You'll have to face military charges. You were on duty at the time of the accident. Yes. And if I know General Northrop, he'll go for the book. Which means no Air Force Academy. Why would Northrop throw the book at him? Is he that GI? He's the most spit and polish officer I've ever known. Yeah, but he invited you to have a drink with him. He even made a joke about it. The, uh, the two-star general drinking with his three-stripe sergeant. Does he do that often? I mean, relax, crack jokes with him? Sir, I've been with General Northrop nearly a year now. That's the first time I've ever seen him smile. Wait a minute, that's it. He's a friend of the General's. At least the General's met with him a couple of times. Yeah, I think that's him. You think that's him? Well, I would drive the General to a, a country club, say, and wait in the car while he had meetings. Now, I think I saw him with this man. But it was from a distance. I, I can't be sure. All right. All right, let's put down what you are sure of. Everything you can remember. All right. What you're really asking is confidential information, Mr. Um... Carruthers. Clifton C. Carruthers. My mother had a thing for the letter C. Look, uh, Mr. Uh, Raymond, uh, I'm just doing my job, as I know you're doing yours. But we must know, you see, whether Mr. Ben Owen retired voluntarily, or whether he was asked to leave. There are death benefits involved here, you understand. He was fired, you know. I see. But why? He was with the company for some time. I don't know. It was one of those executive decisions. Mm -hmm. What was Mr. Ben Owen's job? Oh, he was an accountant. He prepared defense contract bids. Did he? Analytical. Is that anything like devious? It certainly is not. A successful lawyer should know the difference. Analytical describes the method I use to uncover the general's devious transactions. It's not illegal to make bad investments and get wiped out. It happens to anyone. Ah, but General Frank Northrop isn't just anybody. He awarded a $22 million contract to Alexander Aircraft. Then shortly afterward, what happens? Suddenly, he pays off all his obligations, honey. Fishy, but not hard evidence. Okay. Let's just say that General Northrop favored the company with a little inside information on the bid. And the company favored him with a little cash. So why was Van Owen killed? Van Owen must have been the contact between Northrop and the company. Look, he gets fired for some reason. And so he contacts Northrop for a little blackmail-type traveling money. And the rest is your client's nightmare. I'll go to Hadley. For what? to ask him to start a formal investigation against General Northrop. Fine. At which point he says what you said. It sounds fishy, but there's no hard evidence. But the only one who can actually prove that Northrop is guilty is Van Owen. And he's dead. Is he?
Now, Walter Van Owen's bereaved widow doesn't look too bereaved to me. Well, maybe she's just trying to keep her spirits up. Harry, what her spirits are are 80 proof. What she should be keeping up is all that sagging blubber. Hey, hey, Margo, can't you just study the woman without dissecting her? Why, you told me to observe her. You know, her characteristics, the way she walks, the way she dresses. look okay? Yeah, sure. Look, I know it's been a long time, but it'll all come back to you. Come on, Murphy. Pulling a con is like riding a bicycle. You never forget how. It's the waning. Is here, General Northrop's aide. The general would like to know when his car will be ready. Yeah, it's ready now, Major. Fine, we'll send a man right over. Okay, everything's ready. Here he is. Okay, Delaney, go. Where did you find him? Oh, Delaney? Lou's nephew. He's a bright, willing, industrious kid. Besides, he owns a motorcycle. What do you think? Can't miss it. Come on, let's get out of here. Yes. Yes, it'll be ready 9.30 tomorrow morning. Right. Hiya. I'm Corporal Walkwick. I come for General Northrop's car. It's all yours. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Sergeant, I got a General Northrop's car outside. You work fast, very good. They found us on the car, it was wedged in a bumper. Wedged in the bumper? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. You know that guy who got hit? It was probably on him, we got slammed. See ya. What do you make of that, Sergeant? That's a microphone, sir. A bug. Usually one inside the clothes. supposition. And speaking of supposition, suppose we have cocktails at the beach. Uh, suppose you answer my question. The answer is no. So is mine. Can you change your mind? Can you investigate General Northrop? Northrop's movements at the time of the accident are all accounted for. Only if you were in the shower with him. You know what you're charging? Yes. This started out as a simple hit and run. I reduced it to gross negligence. Now you want to blow it up to defense contract scandals and murder. All right. If it's murder, find that out. If it's not murder, find that out, too. Look, your boy Rollins had access to information from Northrop's office, and he was in possession of the car at the time of the accident. Now, if it was murder, guess who the finger points to? Yeah, I know. You still want me to open up that can of peas? I like peas. <laughs> Thank you. 
please. Don't shoot. Don't give me a reason to. Hey, what are you doing? You calling the police? Oh, did you want me to call your lawyer first? Is that it? Or do you people go right to the social worker these days? Hey. Hey, I, I, I didn't get anything. There's no harm done. Mister, I'm a two-time loser. He'll give me life. If you're looking for sympathy, you walked into the wrong apartment. Operator, get me the sheriff's office. Hey, come on. Come on, give me a break, will you? They made me do it. They who? I don't know. They asked me to look for canceled checks, bank statements, any kind of paper with Alexander Aircraft on it. I, I don't know. I'm listening. The cops frame me on a B and E. Then these other guys come along and they make me this deal. I bust in here, I get them what they want. Then they get the cops to lay off and they drop five hundred bucks on me. Besides, hey, Mister, they had me. I I couldn't say no. I asked you, they who? I don't know. I swear it. Look, I was supposed to take anything I found to the Surf and Sand magazine. Surf and Sand what? It's a magazine. They got offices over on Sunrise. Just deliver there. I, I don't know anymore. But, listen, I gotta tell them now. I didn't find anything. I, I got nothing to bring them, see? I, come on, give me a break. Better for you, better for me. Get out. What? Oh, hey. this magazine have a direct line to the East Coast? Magazine, huh? Some magazine. All I ever seen was guys in banker suits buzzing in and out of here. Then this morning they all suddenly packed up and took off. Check out this telephone number. Right, sir. Uh, you have a visitor, sir. Danton, Sergeant Rowland's attorney. The usual procedure for someone who wants to see me is to make an appointment with my secretary. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. It's just that I was in the area and I thought you might have a moment to discuss the case. I don't discuss such matters. My legal officer, Captain McDaniel, would be more than happy to see you. Good day, Miss Danton. I was hoping to have an informal chat. But if we must do it by subpoena, then we must. The police have already taken my deposition with regard to Sergeant Rawlins' character. That's my entire involvement in the situation. Then you don't... you don't know Mrs. Van Owen? No. No, I don't. Well... Well? Well, what? Well, you see, it's just that she seems to know of you. Well, she does. If she telephoned Sergeant Rawlins. She told him not to worry that she knew he was innocent. I don't understand how that's So do possibly... a lot of other people. 
other people? Yes. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I suppose it'll all come out in court. Good day, sir. is now fully briefed on that outrageous story about Mrs. Van Owen calling Rollins. What do you mean, that's a good story? Aren't they all? Sir, mm. that 703 area number? It's McLean, Virginia, the main number of the CIA. Delaney is some choice for a gardener. Do you know he's allergic to grass? Never mind. Just pay attention and play it right through. Okay, Lou, you're up. Off to the hospital. Hey, how do I look? Younger, huh? Years. Oh, Lou, that's terrific. Hey, you know what? You just made me... One hundred dollars. What are you talking about? None of the others believe I could get you to shave it off. You jogged me. Mm, true. But you look better. Oh, Lou, you look 100% better. And besides, I never trusted a man with a mustache. Yeah? You're wearing a mustache. Hey. Now, let's check them what we're doing here. If we set him up right, the general's on his way to the Van Owen house. While you're at the hospital playing with the pretty nurses, Delaney is supposed to be playing gardener. Margo. What? What? Delaney. Murphy said Delaney was playing gardener. So? Murphy is supposed to play the gardener. What's the difference? Northrop has already seen Delaney. He'll recognize him. This could blow the whole deal.
stuff, kid. Hello? This is Van Owen. This is uh, Walter Van Owen? Yes. Well, I'm with the Pacific Northern Insurance Company. And if I could have just, say, five minutes of your time, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your husband's unfortunate accident. You married? Uh, no, I'm not. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> That was her just left. Do you know where she went? Yeah, to the hospital. They pick her up same time every day. Every day, fresh flowers. But for somebody a fortune. What hospital? It's a new one they just built downtown. Who does she visit? Who she visit? How should I know? I mind my own business. Don't bother people, they won't bother you. That's what I always say. <laughs> will start to recognize me pretty soon. I'll see you later. But at least give me cab after the shop. Take the bus. I'll be right with you. You take the freeway and you cross. Will you see if Miller got to OR? Feather, tell Harry that newspaper clipping is about to blow this whole thing up in our faces. What? General Northrop's on his way to Glen Oak Cemetery. Harry! Harry, he's going to have a grave to look at. He's going to know Van Owen's dead. What was your father's line of work? Nothing. He never worked a day in his life. There is about a week lag before our computer bank can properly record our resident. No, I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Van Owen is not in new arrival. Are you positive there could be no mistake? I can ask the computer again, but I can tell you Mr. Van Owen is not a member of our family. Please. Van Owen Walter.
This information is incorrect. Well, we'd like to think about it. Well, you shouldn't wait too long, you know. Oh, we won't. We won't. Thank you so very much. You're very welcome. Can't resist taking a dig at your old man in there, can't you? No matter, sweetheart, General Northup's train is back on the track. Hey, you were marvelous in there. Harry, what did you do with those files? Oh, you mean this? You stole this card? Harry, this is the record of that man's grave. You've got to give it back. So I'll mail it to him. <laughs> mail it? If you mail it, it won't get there until day after tomorrow. At Honey, least. he isn't going anywhere. Harry, you've got to give it back. La table euh, au centre, deuxième atout. Harry, Harry, this general, he's ordered Chateau Bordeaux, 1966. Fifty bucks a bottle. Harry. I'll sign a check, Mike, don't worry about it. That's what I'm worried about. Voilà, monsieur. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Attentive as ever. You said you have information. Did you bring the money? What is the information? First of all, General, I want you to understand that in my attorney's safe, there's a letter. If anything unusual happens to me, that letter goes to the police. The bumbling burglar turns into the big-time blackmailer, eh? Oh, well, General. We are all in our own fashion. Opportunists. Walter Van Owen is alive. He's alive. He's not entirely well, but... He's alive. And why did the papers print the story of his death? That was a little con, General. A scam. A setup. They wanted you to believe that Van Owen was dead. He's at the Bay Hospital. He's there under a different name, so that you'd feel secure while they completed their case against you. What case? I think we ought to stop wasting time. Where's the money? What you've given me isn't worth $10,000. What I'm about to give you is... from the Bay Hospital directly to the Inspector General's office, where he is scheduled to dictate your life story, General, in chapter and verse. What's the number of Van Owen's room? All I know is Bay Hospital. We'll all need an ambulance. You drive. No, not me. The gardener, remember? He knows my face. Look, Murphy, you gotta do something. Come on. Use your imagination.
this is uh, just me, the ambulance. Come in. 3Y58 reading you loud and clear. Your call sign, Murphy, is not me, the ambulance. Your call sign is 2Y21. 2Y21. Do you read, over? Yeah, yeah, whatever, 2Y21. I'm going in in about 30 seconds. We're with you, 3Y58. I don't know why I let you talk me into this. Because you're a super dedicated law officer. And you don't want to spend another lonely Saturday night. Dr. Robert Crow, please report. Hello? That's Dr. right, I'm still on intravenous. Well, until further notice. You know something? You look ridiculous. You think I look ridiculous, huh? Wait! <laughs> and I'm his wife, Mrs. Van Owen. Van Owen? I don't remember discharging any Van Owens. Get the papers. Will you get the papers? Oh, of course. Show her the discharge papers. What discharge papers? You never said anything about any papers. Oh, wait. I have them. I can't imagine what could have happened. The patient cannot be released without a proper discharge. All right, get oh. that lawyer. Get oh. that lawyer. Oh. I want my lawyer. Please. Oh. I want my lawyer. Oh. This is very bad for you. Look, I my look. Do you know what a $10 million lawsuit will do to this place? I'm going to name you as chief conspirator. Yes, that's a Get my lawyer. Don't stand there. Get my lawyer. Yes, dear. I'll go call the lawyer. I'm sure it was only a clerical error, but I need a relief. You'll just get a blank form. And we'll fill it in later. Absolutely outrageous. I'm just who she thinks she is. I don't know. Absolutely. What is this woman's name? What is your name, Ned? You will be there, there now. We shouldn't get upset. It's not healthy for us. Yeah. Uh, would you help these people out?
Now this one. Get in there. This time I'm going to do it properly. I didn't want it this way, Mrs. Van Owen, believe me. Police will be very interested to hear that. Every word's been recorded. It's all over, General. Where's Van Owen? Resting peacefully. Please, sir. Put down the gun. Police will be here any minute, General. There's no point to it now, General. the guy who wants to see Sergeant Rollins spend the next few years learning how to fly instead of learning to make license plates. Are you okay? Well, now that's cutting it a little bit close, don't you think, well, Harry? Well, honey, that was just the way I planned it. It's just the way I... Marvin Gardens. Marvin Gardens. Wait a minute. That's mine, Marvin Gardens. Two houses, 360 bucks. Coming. Wait a minute. General Northup made a full confession. You called it right down to the last kickback. Good. She's the best. Legally, yes. Otherwise, I still don't know. Uh, won't you come in? I'll give you the B&O Railroad and the waterworks. Well, you get out of here. She nails me for 1,500 bucks when I get on a bar place. She wants to make me a deal. I'll give you 3,000 for the two railroads and a get out of jail free card. They're right, playing with a, real money. That's a... Oh, Hadley. Hey, come on, sit in here. Oh, wait come a minute. On. Wait a minute, Ezra. We've had it long enough. Well, wait a minute. We haven't finished the game. Oh, 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 Northrop. Boy, you know, there for a minute I felt just like Howard Hughes. Yeah. You know, technically, this could be tampering with the evidence. Oh, oh man. Oh, just for that, Hadley, I am cutting you out of my will. Yeah. <laughs>